hi guys and welcome back to my channel um, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to create complex or to lay out variant buttons using Figma so if you're new to my channel ensure you subscribe it takes a lot of efforts creating these videos and editing and posting so please you can just show me a little appreciation by subscribing to my channel and turning on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload new videos and if you're an old user thank you so much for coming back so without further delays let's get started to designing so like I said earlier we're going to be creating complex auto layout buttons uh, let's just get started. Let's go to a new document. Let's create a rectangle just to form a contrast against the background All right, we have our background and our next like I said, we're going to be using auto layer So we're not going to draw a rectangle or then put in text and the rest of it. No, no, no. We're going to be using auto layer so we can make the buttons responsive And then as usual to add the auto layout, you just press your shift a and as you can see auto layout has been added so you just customize the horizontal and vertical padding all right and then we give it a fill color about that is the fill color right here okay and uh, we're going to be giving the text white and we are going to make the text medium or bold currently set to regular let's make it medium or uh, even bold okay semi bold all right so let's give the frame some radius align it to the center and give it a radius of 10 okay 10 is too much let's make it 5 make it 5 stay too much 4 okay i love this perfect so we're going to be using this button we're going to be using uh this button as our primary button we're going to be creating secondary buttons and uh, bigger buttons so this is the first one, we're just going to duplicate this by holding ALT and dragging Duplicate one more, duplicate one more So this will be the small buttons So let's duplicate this By highlighting everything Okay Let's hold SHIFT, highlight that, highlight this Highlight this, highlight this And uh, duplicate it by holding the ALT and dragging out so we are going to make these ones longer so it will be the large buttons perfect so the next thing we're going to do now this is the primary button so let's uh, make let's create more room okay let's do the primary buttons first then we can go for that to the secondary button so we just have to do now is change the color make this darker make this lighter and make this very light like so okay and then the same thing goes for this let's take this color code to make it faster copy it come here paste it in here Take this color code, Ctrl or C, come here, Ctrl or V, paste the properties, come here, Ctrl or C, copy the properties, come here, Ctrl or V, paste the properties. So we are done with the primary button for both the small and the large button. So let's go, let's expand this rectangle so we can create our secondary button. So all you just have to do now is duplicate the whole of these frames by holding our alt and dragging out 
and so we'll have our secondary button as easy as that let's make sure it's properly aligned okay it's properly aligned so what we just have to do now is just to change the coloring so let's change the color of the primary button from this to blue okay so let's copy the color ctrl alt c paste it here ctrl alt v come here ctrl alt v come here ctrl alt v and then let's come here we'll need it uh, let's see if we can change everything once no it's not possible we have to change it one after the other so ctrl alt v ctrl alt v ctrl alt v ctrl alt v all right so we're going to change these buttons again make this one darker much darker okay okay if we can see go further come here make this one lighter like that or over and let's make this very light okay so let's copy this color ctrl alt c paste it here ctrl alt v copy this color ctrl alt c paste it here ctrl alt v copy this color ctrl alt c paste it here ctrl alt v all right so let me explain what i just did now there are four set of icons of four buttons here this first set is your primary is our primary button for small size buttons and this second set is our primary color for a large set of buttons and then the second set this one is our primary color for a uh, secondary color for our small size buttons and then this is the secondary color for our large sized buttons so we are going to be creating a component using this uh, in order to do that we have to highlight all the frames so starting from frame 1 click on frame 1 hold your shift key and click on frame 16 now one thing to do is that you can have as many collections of buttons as possible so it's not restricted to four sets you can create eight sets 16 sets depending on how large your design system is or how large you want your design system to be so that's just the difference so having highlighted everything we are going to come to the top here and we are going to click on create component sets so everything here has been converted into a component it's just a matter of adding the variance and the proper setting the properties so let's rename this from component one to buttons remember it's the best practice to always name your files properly and then let's go back to the first collection like i said this is our primary button our primary color rather our primary color for small size buttons so we are going to edit the properties frame one double click on it as you can see property one frame one so we are going to set it we are going to say um category equals small okay category equals primary comma um we are going to say category primary we are going to say size equals small we are going to say states states which is the state of the button is it the default button is it active did you press on it uh, is it a highlight button or is it a disabled button so we are going to say states equals defaults let's copy this because we are going to be using this a lot and there as you can see it says this variant is missing one or more properties that's because we have to set the same property for the three other buttons otherwise it wouldn't work so we've already set down let's set the second one frame two double click on it paste the properties you copied earlier now we are not going we are going to be changing only one thing here primary the size the category this is still a primary button it's not a secondary button it's still a primary button the size is still small it's not big the state is not default but active so this is the only thing we'll be changing here paste that and then here is going to we are going to be changing the states paste state is not default but hover when you hover over the button that's the color to change to and then this button the state is disabled for disabled buttons so let's remove the default and put disabled 
we are done with that then let's go to the primary color for the large buttons let's double click on this paste the old properties but instead of changing just the state we are going to change the size as well so instead of small we are going to say large the state remains default so let's copy this and that's it let's change the next one frame 6 paste it the size remains constant but the state is going to be active let's go to the next one the state is going to be hover and then let's go to the next one the state is going to be disabled and we are done with the primary colors next let's go to the secondary color so um let's copy the property for the primary color to make this a whole lot easier so let's copy this instead of typing everything again come here and let's paste it here but remember we have to change the category to secondary so let's change it to secondary the size remains small the state remains default okay let's copy this copy and then let's go to the next one we are going to change the state for this one paste it here size is still small category secondary state is active this one the state is hover and then this one the state is disabled We are done with the small buttons for the primary color let's for the secondary color rather let's go to the big one so let's copy this again instead of typing everything all over copy and then come here and paste but remember to change the categories so let's paste it here as you can see the category is primary so we have to change it to secondary and the size remains large state is not disabled the state is actually default and then let's copy this because we'll be using it and then let's come here and change some properties category secondary size large state is actually active and not default so let's change the state to active uh, let's change here to hover paste hover and let's change here to disabled now before I hit enter notice this part this variant is missing one or more properties let's see what happens because this is the last property that I was supposed to set now let's see what happens immediately I hit enter you see it has disappeared so all our properties are auto layered our variants our components has been configured successfully so let's test it now now the whole idea of creating auto layered buttons and variants is to make your design process very swift and very smooth now you don't have to go ahead and configure both and design buttons whenever after designing your after uh, coming up with your design system and you have your variant set like this you can change the context the look of your website with just the click of a button so let's experiment and see what this will actually do as you can see this button right here you can see there are three properties here and i told you earlier you can set up to four properties five properties six properties as many as you can you can change it however way but we are not supposed to do this this is the master component so we are going to go to our assets let me check if my internet is still connected okay it's connected let's go to assets so we're just going to drag this one button this one button is representing all the other 16 buttons so this is one this is just representing the whole system buttons here so so this is representing all the buttons here so we'll come to this category if you want to change it from primary to secondary you just go to secondary and as you can see the color has changed and if you want to change the size from small to big you can change it to large without having to drag and drag and drag wherever and then if you want to change the state from default to active you can change it to active you want to change it to hover you want to change it to disabled whichever way you want to do it if you have a tertiary color you can set it from secondary create primary secondary tertiary as many properties as you want 
thank you so much for watching this tutorial um please leave a like if you have a question comments um if you're new to the channel please ensure you subscribe and uh see you guys next time